Hey there, I'm David Benedict, and I'm the creator of Mandolin Mondays, as well as the Mandolin Player with Mile 12. I'm here to bring you a very special edition of Mandolin Mondays, co-sponsored by Diodario Strings. In this video, we'll be taking three different sets of Diodario Strings and comparing them side by side to show you some really cool, subtle differences in each set. In this video, we'll be using all medium gauge strings so you can really tell the difference from one set to another. First off, we'll be trying the classic Phosphor Bronze mandolin strings, which a lot of players use these days. Next, we'll be going to the Nickel Bronze set, which is a Nickel Bronze alloy wrapped around a steel core. And then lastly, we have the brand new Monel strings, which were popularized by Sam Bush. This also has a steel core with a special Monel alloy wrapped around it. All those strings will be played on my very own Apidius Vanguard F5 mandolin. This mandolin has a spruce top, Evo frets, Waverly tuners, and I'll be using this tone guard to make sure that those strings are resonating nice and loud. I'll also be using this Wigan TF140 pick for all the strings, and I'll be playing into Neumann KM184 EQ'd flat so there's no difference from one set to the next. Well, as you can tell, these mandolin strings are very comparable and very versatile. There are just some subtle differences from one to the other. First, I'd say this Phosphor Bronze set is probably the most punchiest out of the three. There's a little bit more thud behind the notes, which might suit a mandolin player well in a bluegrass setting when you're competing with a loud banjo and fiddle. Next, these Nickel Bronze strings may be a little bit quieter, but they have more sustain and they're lighter on the left hand, which makes it easier to play. These also feel broken in straight from the get-go, which is a unique thing with strings. Lastly, these Monel strings have more guts. There's just kind of a raw energy here that the other two didn't have, which might be good in a bluegrass setting as well. But I think you'll find that any three of these strings will suit you well in pretty much any setting that you find yourself in. Well, thanks so much for watching, folks. This has been Mandolin Mondays with David Benedict, brought to you by Diodario Strings and Mandolin Cafe. Hope this has been helpful for you and hope that you'll go out and try these strings out on your own instrument and see what works best for you. A lot of the musical examples that I played in this video, as well as the music that's being played over the commentary, is from a new record of mine called The Golden Angle, which I'd be honored if you go and check out. Until next time, happy picking.